In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do the Multiple Exposure Portrait Choose Your Own Adventure project. The first thing you'll want to do is select the pictures that you've taken to be part of your Multiple Exposure Portrait and bring them into Photoshop, one on top of the other, just like you did with the photo montage. So I'm going to select a picture where I'm the furthest back in the composition here. Then I'm just going to keep moving and bringing in more and more portraits here. You have to hit enter after you bring it in because it's in the transform mode. Whenever you see that X on top of the picture, that means it's in transform. I'll bring uh, this one in. All right, so I've got four pictures. The minimum requirements for this project is that you have four versions of a person within the same portrait. Next, what I'll do is I'll select all the layers by clicking on the top one, then shifting and clicking the bottom one, and raster sizing. Actually, it turns out I need to do this step first. I need to unlock the bottom layer by clicking the lock box and hitting OK. And then I can select all the layers and raster size them. Get rid of the Smart Objects box there. Next, I'll be clicking on Edit and Auto-Align Layers and hitting OK. Depending on what you supported the camera on while you were taking the pictures, if you're using a tripod, it may not move the pictures much at all. If you were holding the camera by hand and just trying not to move the camera in between pictures, you may end up having a lot more auto-aligning going on. All right, next, you're going to start with the top layer, create a layer mask, and paint away with black on the layer mask, anything except the person. All right. Works best to have a really high opacity and a hardness set to zero to start with. Having a hardness set to zero helps out because it'll feather the edges around the brush and make it look a little bit more natural. All right, now if I were to make all the other layers invisible, you can see that I just have this version of me on top here. I'm going to fill in a little more white on the layer mask just because it looks like I erased away part of myself there. Whenever you have zero hardness, you know, it can be a little bit unpredictable sometimes for where the brush is going to be painting and where it will not be painting. Next I'll go to the next layer, create a layer mask, erase away everything around that version of me. Make sure that I'm on black here. Now this is going to be a little bit more tricky because the version of me on the layer below is right on top of the other version of me. So what I'll have to do is I'll just do a general paint here right around me on the next layer. And then what I'll do is zoom way in. Control plus, remember, is zooming in. I'll have to switch the hardness on the brush and use a much smaller brush. And I'm going to paint back in right around here so that I can make myself visible again. Works best to get in really close. I know that I had part of my shoes from this layer too that I wanted to include. And you're simply just going to be switching back and forth to make the edges look the best that you can. X is the fast way to switch back and forth here between white and black. All right, for this demonstration, that'll be enough. All right, so now I'm moving down to the next layer using a layer mask. And I'm going to erase away all around that version of me. In this case, You'll notice that um, I've got some of the layer mask here that I'll need to erase to make it so that I can see myself on the layer below. That's going to be the trickiest thing, is making sure that you don't have part of a, a layer that's higher up in the layer order that's covering up and making it so you can't see uh, layers that are down below. All right, so that's the basics of it. Sometimes you'll end up having areas that are invisible all the way through to the background, like even below this layer. So in that case, what you'll need to do is just use the crop tool to make it so that your pictures are 
all lined up and you don't have any invisible sections below. Alright, that's it. Save as a JPEG and upload it on Blackboard.